basically just talked about how I literally think all Trump supporters have lead damage. <laughs> what? Wait, wait, what? People want this person as their leader. The man's not good looking. He's an orange Oompa Loompa. He's incredibly mushy, pushy. You, you know, it's sad when you see types just kind of, you know, lose it. You know, it's, it's you know, life can be difficult, certainly. But some types and, and, some, and some people certainly lose it worse than, than others. And Melissa is certainly an ENTP who has lost it. If you don't know what I'm talking about, let's just watch a video. As a female American, the fact that these people are so proud of who they support, it's just concerning to me. Like, how could anyone in good faith, good conscience say that freely, willingly, publicly? The joke's over. At this point, it's actually past embarrassing. It's past concerning. I don't even care of your politics. I'm just talking about the man and the man himself and like what that man has done. And these people want this person as their leader. The man's not good looking. He's an orange oompa loompa he's incredibly mushy pushy you could just like his skin looks like you could just put it's like play-doh-y he's never been sexually desirable i don't understand why you guys think this man is good at all why would he be someone you want to emulate from a female standpoint he's not a man that's sexually desirable like he's not a man that i respect within business he's not a man where i think he has good intellect so i'm kind of just confused as a female What was that? Whoa, whoa, uh, so, right, she she doesn't like a political figure, and her talking point is that he's ugly. But I guess she she leaves that he's also stupid at the end of the video, which which is a fair point, right? If you want to say that, that if, if it's true, then it's it's a fair point to make, right? But uh, someone's ugly. Who is a pol politician? Is that really the way to judge politicians? I, I, I don't think uh, that's a popular philosophy, although I, th I think it's quite interesting and I think it's quite unique. I have debated for many years and I haven't seen many people take the standpoint that uh, looks should determine the political readiness of a politician or the political value of a politician you know i've seen people who are like strength should determine that you know that that's a that's an actual position but the uh, aesthetics is certainly a new and a unique and an interesting point that melissa is bringing here but it it, it certainly doesn't stop here but l let's look at the 69 comments nice i'm from mexico we love them blah 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 you should talk about politics you can't give critiques to a political leader and bring up their looks it's it's I find funny how the comments are supporting him. No matter your political preference, this job is to run a country. It's not a beauty uh, pagan doing a hit piece based on politicians. Look, is straight up bullying. I mean, I don't have a problem with bullying. It's it's very funny, honestly. Uh, when bringing up all the reasons he hates Trump, you bring up appearance first. Is you having an ESTP moment? <laughs> um. <laughs> It's, uh, I don't know, maybe cheap, you know, I, I believe half the people don't support him. Half of them probably do, but half of them are just trying to piss her off, which is pretty funny. Um, but, uh, you know, you, by, by, the, by the way, she's a MBTI YouTuber. Yes, yes, she is an MBTI YouTuber. Great. I, I just, this is what's so wild about this. She's an MBTI YouTuber who's just getting into politics, which is... Don't get into politics, kids. It, it's not a good idea. N not a good idea at all. <sighs> okay, let's go next one. Why would you think that any dom, someone who's so open-minded, would want to be associated with the most small-minded political party? Like, let's... Small-minded isn't really a thing. Uh, but what she's trying to say is more like narrow-minded. You know, kind of the opposite of open-minded. Uh, well, you know, there, there's quite a good number of ENTPs who are associated with uh, such a such a party. Uh, let's uh, um, uh, 
and uh, she's she's talking about the Republican Party here in this case. Uh, think of Stephen Crowder. Think of Michael Knowles. You know, just two random examples that I could bring up just off the top of my head. Yeah, certainly, and you know, certainly associate with this. And actually, I I this is the latest poll in our ENTP, and have in mind that Reddit actively cleanses anyone who's right wing, and is certainly not a right wing friendly place by any means. And it's uh, actually this is the latest poll. And it's quite surprising. Uh, eighteen, okay, so there's eighteen Republican, but eighty-eight Libertarian, e and then I believe those are just like people from other countries mainly. I mean, this also doesn't really count, but yeah, um, you know, certainly a a a, a significant uh, amount. You know, eighteen or let's say nineteen to to sixty, that is certainly a significant amount, uh, and 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 Libertarians uh, a large part part of them actually votes for the Republican Party as it often represents their beliefs much better than the, the Democrat Party does. So yeah, you have to count that as as, as well. So yeah, certainly a significant amount of any Dons do would like to support the Republican Party. Let's think about this logically. Do you really think an ENTP is gonna be on the <laughs> on the right? <laughs> like yeah, yes. I mean for anyone who isn't narrow minded, which is what Melissa has trying to critique here somehow um they could see how any ntp would be on the right and i mean there's nothing in type that prevents anyone from being any political uh, being in any political party or having any political opinion now obviously now i've said this before in my political compass video you know your type certainly can uh, have make make you more lenient to be some other uh, in some other political quadrants generally speaking you know for example INTPs are tendentially more likely to be for example towards the libride quadrant due to the T I and N E libertarian tendencies and on the opposite side of the spectrum you have INTJs who are more likely to be tendentially off left you know I, I've talked about that in my video but it's just mere tendencies and um, it's definitely not a one-on-one -on -one thing and uh, yeah, again, like I said, Michael Noel, Stephen Crowder, Murray Rothbard, a lot of ENTPs are on the right and are very influential on the right. There is nothing that stops an ENTP from being on the right. Like, out of all of the possibilities? Like, if you are a Trump supporter? And, and, and being on the right doesn't mean you're a Trump supporter. If you're a Trump supporter, then you are probably on the right, but not the other way around necessarily and you're in my following you can unsubscribe because i actually do not want those kind of people in kind of narrow-minded in my opinion but that's just my opinion my audience because like why would i want to be associated with y'all maybe if you weren't narrow-minded you would want to know like y'all are idiots in my eyes a bit of a narrow-minded take there no uh, just my opinion i literally just talked about how i literally think all trump supporters have lead damage <laughs> What? Wait, wait, what? Huh? I, I didn't know that uh, lead damage was a conspiracy on Republicans. I, I, th I thought we were all proportionately damaged by lead, but uh, I'm not the expert here. Where's the disconnect? I don't like y'all. Like, why would I want to be? I don't. I don't think. I don't think Melissa has met met fifty million people at least. So which is, the, so she's just making um, a pretty, pretty strong statement about them. Um, <laughs> seems a bit narrow minded to me, but that's just me. Be associated with y'all. <laughs> Why would you? <laughs> but it doesn't stop. Let, let me. Let's look at the comments again. Small-minded, someone who puts their ideology in such high regard that they can't associate with a different mindset. Yeah, I don't. I don't think that political polarization is a a, a good way in this regard to what um, quadrant you are in. The most. <laughs> Why? Why did you think that? Uh... Oh yeah, so this is an interesting point, right? Um. Uh, the left and the right are equally authoritarian. I, I, I don't I don't see the the the, the big point where they're trying to say that's any different. They're, they're they're really equally authoritarian. You know, both quadrants exist. You know, off left and off right. <laughs>
Um, let's see some more, some more interesting comments. Uh, some, some more interesting shorts, because our shorts are certainly interesting. I'm so embarrassed for America, just for the fact of everyone knows he's a criminal. Does- Wait. Isn't it still an ongoing trial? Don't we do innocent until proven guilty kind of stuff? Everyone that supports Trump, do they all have lead poisoning? It <laughs> What is this? Is there a disconnect in their brain? He got- So you're telling me there is a disconnect in 50 million people? That's- that, That's a strong claim. But how many million shortly after he was indicted? Y'all do realize like he's conning y'all. Like he's doing a GoFundMe for his own crimes. And his followers are freely giving their money. It's like the biggest cult on like the grandest scale. No. No. I mean, it's not really even a cult. It certainly sometimes can be cultish, like any other political following. Um, but if you want to talk about an actual cult, like science, even if even if we were to consider his political following to be called a cult, uh, scientism still beats it by a lot. So not not even close. On live television, like on Twitter, it's like everyone's aware of it. It's so disconnected because I don't even care about your politics. It's like if you just take the man and people actively in 2023 are proud of supporting that man. I'm kind of just like you're one out outing your disconnect in like reality you're too why you outing your lack of intelligence politics and intelligence don't have any correlation at all actually you know studies which have been conducted by conducted by people who are certainly on our side <laughs> um have shown complete disconnect between politics and intelligence and three please stay far far the fuck away from me Seems a bit narrow-minded, you know, you'd think an ENTP would be more open-minded about the potential in people, certainly 50 fucking million people, but who am I to say anything? Is there any more entertaining uh, uh, shorts? Because this is seriously uh, entertaining. Um, let's see. It, an EB for this. These, these are all interesting, honestly. We could go on here for hours, and this would be really interesting. Let, let's, what, let, let's keep the... Because all you men, you still have all your rights. In the last year... We do? I've lost a lot of my rights. That's why I have issue with man. Be what? Because <laughs> you guys make statements of, I couldn't care less who supports who. Yeah, because you're not getting your rights taken away. I'm <laughs> what rights is he talking about? I'm sorry, you were born a male, and I'm a... <laughs> female and even though i can probably outsmart half of the males in this world and i am taller than in because i so i can't own and peg y'all all but y'all want to take my rights away so yeah you go ahead write a confident statement that you couldn't care less on who supports who and tell me more about how you just do not care about people around you you're watching a f um so melissa hates republicans and apolitical people female streamer no, no, right. She hates the whole right. She hates the right and anyone who's apolitical. Right. Of my chat, if you're confidently gonna say you don't care who supports who, and you're watching a female streamer, because all you mi <laughs> it's just too funny. Yes, I do laugh on mute. <laughs> It's too good, man. It's too good. You have to keep going. The ones that voted for him in 2016, like, I understand. Like, that was your- you voted for political reasons. But at this point in time, in 2023, when people are proudly supporting him, I do think you're an idiot. You can't say it's politics anymore. You have no ground to stand on. I'm just so confused because there's no TI. It's gone. Every single time I ask people, I'm like, why do you guys proudly publicly support this man? And like, they can't even give me solid reason. Like, I can't even build up my TI back from what it was in 2016 because like it, none of it makes sense. No, there's no coherent framework of information being given to me. I, I'm literally at a loss. So like I get it from the two, 2016 election. I get it. That was politics. But now I think y'all idiots and you are the sheep. You guys are like sheep that you guys are so disconnected that you don't even realize it. That's what I'm getting at. 
I, I look. Let's say Melissa was right, you know, which, which which is a difficult position to take, knowing that she's claiming that uh, fifty million people are all are specifically lead poisoned. But let's assume she was right. How good of a tactical and strategical move it is to call everyone who you oppose as a dumb fuck who doesn't know shit who's a sheep. I, 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 I if, you know, she's mentioning the lack of TI, but uh, it's just my opinion. But my opinion that uh, being aggressive and and, and 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 your political argument being equivalent to that of a monkey. Just like booga ooga ooga ooga, you fucking dump ooga ooga booga booga. I, I don't I don't think that's the that's the way to move forward. You know I think the way to move forward is actually to talk policy for policy, see the views you know of each other, partially validate them. You know try to get on a common ground, and maybe make some compromises when possible, see when it's not possible, and and, and find common ground, but. Uh, calling people sheep I, I don't see how productive or how, or how constructive that is or or claiming that they were lead poisoned for some reason <laughs> can't get over it man I, I don't I don't think that's the way to move forward but I don't know I don't, I don't know what I know man all I know is that I know nothing maybe you know something so let me know if you know anything in the comments I'm gonna head out <laughs>